is gonna be a great day today. I am about to go to Savannah's and then we're going to drive to go see Lydia, my girl. I feel like I haven't seen her in forever, but should I wear, no, no. Can you tell that I'm like very excited? Can you tell? Can you, can you? I have the day off work and it's a Friday. Me and Savannah are about to get bagels. I'm wearing my hair down, which I never do. I never straighten it and wear it down. I'm feeling a little like, like good about myself a little bit because I'm. I also tanned last night and I did purple shampoo, so my hair is nice and blonde. I get to spend time with Savannah's mom tonight and her dad. I love her parents. They are literally like my best friends. Like I think the list of my friends goes Savannah and Lydia and then Savannah's parents. I'm really not kidding. It's just gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great day. I am so excited to hang out with Lydia. I think we're getting Mexican. That's another plus. Oh my gosh, guys. Look who it is. Hi. <laughs> we're on our way to go get bagels. No, it's just wrong. It's not. You want to know. How do you say it? Bagel? Bagel. No. It's a bagel. It's not a bagel. It, well, it's not a bagel. It is a bagel. It's not a bagel. It's definitely a bagel. I got you. And then two cinnamon sugars, nothing done to them? Yep. Alrighty, I'll see you at the window. Sorry, that was so difficult. I am never going to go through the drive through for you ever again. Okay, She's well, like, um... Because what do I want? You know the thing in no. Sponge, on SpongeBob where it's like five hours later and then it just keeps going? Like, that's what needs to be put here. Okay, you know why? Okay. Because the, their coffee menu literally said regular, yeah, it wasn't decaf, very, it, um, it wasn't very dark roast, and then it said hazelnut. Like, what is hazelnut in that category? Hazelnut is not, like, that's a flavor. It's just very dumb. This is heaven. All of our bagels. We got our bagels. What'd you just say? If we don't get married, I swear. <laughs> I will cry. Cry. I will cry. Kidding. No, that's a little Are you nervous? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Yes, she is nervous. <laughs> yeah. It's so pretty. I love this one. <laughs> I don't think that they know yeah. what they're doing. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing 
anymore. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> to get on here quick and just just say that God is good <laughs> you know I woke up I woke up today and I went and spent the day with two godly women that God placed in my life that I met we literally met when we went to passion together and they are by far some of the best friends I have ever had I have prayed and cried so many times asking God for friends here in Alabama. Like godly women who would go to church with me, who would talk about God, who would pray over me, pray for me, like lead me in the right direction towards what God wants me to do and who God wants me to be as a woman. And anyways, so I'm just so thankful for them. So today I spent the day with them and like it's just nothing but joy with them. And I just wanted to say to anyone out there who's just like, I've been praying for Christian friends, like I've been praying for this or that. I just want to tell you like, do not give up in prayer, but know that God's timing is so much better than we could ever imagine. And I truly know and believe that like I met Savannah and Lydia at the exact time in the exact way that we were supposed to meet and same with Savannah's family and just like the life that I have right now, like it's all working out in such a crazy way and so, don't stop praying, like, have faith and know that your God is good. And if he, because he is good, he's going to do things at the best timing in the best way for you. And you have to believe in that. You have to. And when it's better to live life in faith, knowing that God will provide and it's on God's timing, than to live life stressing about things that God is working out for your good, you know? And another thing that's crazy, I just read this little note that's on my tea bag. It says, be fearless, know that all will be provided at the right time. Be fearless, know that all will be provided at the right time. It's kind of like, be still and know that I'm God. You know? I don't know. God is good. Can I get a good amen in the chat? 